one of the presidents, past presidents of uh, Compassion International, I love that company, one of the past presidents said something critical about children, something very deep, something very, very powerful, a very simple statement that every child you encounter is an appointment with the divine. Every child you encounter is a divine appointment. You know, the reason as to why he said that can never be traced away from meaning, can never be traced away from purpose. That every child you, are you encounter is a divine appointment means that there is purpose that that child is supposed to do or that child has been sent to do. And, you know, the thing is that all of us were once children at one point in time. There's no one who was born an adult. And purpose is found in us as individuals. We come together with it. And I want us to continue discussing in these episodes, why is it important for us to teach purpose to children at a young age? Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namalek. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Let's talk about races for a few minutes here before we can just get back to the subject matter of teaching children purpose. You remember this guy called Bolt, a short distance runner? What's the name of the guy again? Usain Bolt. First of all, the name Bolt, you know what Bolt means, lightning bolt, something that moves fast. Aptly named, I'm going to come and talk about that later on, but aptly named living to his standard we've seen kids named in a you know in a way that his name reflects what he does i'm going to come back to that later on but we saw how this usain boat guy how he was running and the day he was retiring and actually pulled up a muscle and so on and he, he basically retired from running and so on and it took he took us you know by he took our breath away he broke records and yet you still hear people saying that those records are impossible to break and so on because I, I'm telling you, someone is going to come and break those records again. But take a look at how we were raised up. Was the race that our parents ran, was it a marathon or was it a relay race where you've got to pass on the baton to somebody else and so on and so forth? What kind of race do you think they run? What kind of race do you think your parents or parents run? If you're a parent, what kind of race do you think you're running right now? And one of the biggest thought leaders of spirituality, the Apostle Paul, he said the following statement in direct application to his own life about racing. He said, there's such a large crowd of witnesses all around us so we must get rid of everything that slows us down especially the sin that just won't let go and we must be determined to run the race that is ahead of us now when you talk about races let me tell you there is a race that every soul every individual has got to run and i'm glad this mighty visionary equated his life to a race but you don't be fooled don't think for a minute that purpose is only something for christians you will be mightily wrong marriage is not just for christians 
Living and being wealthy is not just for Christians. The same thing about purpose. It is a human thing just like marriage is a human thing. So before you log off thinking I'm just talking about Christianity and so on and so forth, hang here for a minute. The word sin in Christianity actually means to miss the mark and it was derived from a game of archery in that when an archer shot a miss, the referee of that day will say sin, that means that he's not hit the mark. So take a look at our lives once again right now. Take a look at the life of our parents and how they raised us. Is there sin in it? Did they miss the mark in it? Is it a life on purpose? Is it a life that has meaning? Is it it is interesting that Paul would use the analogy of racing and running not just once but actually several times in his discourses the way he was writing. There's a place he wrote and he said You've all been to the stadium and seen the athletes race. Everyone runs, one wins. And then he says, run to win. He says, all good athletes, they train hard. They do it for a gold medal that tarnishes and fades. You're after one that's gold eternally. I don't know about you, but I'm running hard for the finish line. I'm giving it everything I've got. No sloppy living here. I'm staying a lot and in top condition. I'm not going to get caught napping telling everyone else about about it that I am missing out myself. This is Paul talking about his life and his racing. He's talking about not missing the mark. He's talking about making sure that he's not missing at the end of the day the particular race that he's running. And he says we are all running and he says there's one race and just one person wins. But then he says that we, we should run our races so that whatever we are getting out of that race is not something that is perishable but something that is eternal. So let me ask you a question here. What do you think is eternal in life and are we running that particular race? To me, I think eternity has got to do with what Maya Angeli talked about. Maya said that people will forget what you did, what you thought, I think, whatever it is. But people will never forget how you made them feel. They forget what you've done, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. And I think when you come to the level of making people feel things, of course... It is a positive feeling that Maya Angelou is talking about here. And that boils down to purpose. That the lives we are running helter-skelter to try and put together, especially even for our children. At the end of the day, what is in it? Is it something perishable or is it something durable, something that stays for a long time? I think the things that stay for a long time are things that are in the invisible realm and the things that we came together, we came with here on earth. We came loaded with purpose. Let me tell you, purpose is eternal. Your purpose is eternal. In fact, it's the reason as to why you are born. The purpose of your child precedes the birth of that particular child. Oh, you guy. In other words, the child is not just born today and then God is like, Okay, okay, okay. What are we going to do for that boy called Lawrence? What are we going to do? Where are we going to put him? You know, how how are we going to show How many angels can we ask? No, it is pre-choice. It is not pro-choice or pro-life. It is pre-choice before you were formed, before you were born. You cannot be a human being who is a human being. And that's why, you know, there is a big war with abortion. People killing babies left, right and center. When you start talking about purpose... People who are pro-abortion will come after you. I kid you not. And probably they have merit in what they are saying. But they will start digging down the subject of purpose because it boards wrongly for their agenda of abortion. You cannot kill someone and you say it's a zygote. That person had a purpose even before they were conceived. Even before they were born. There was a purpose written all over them. Now, given that that purpose is even before they were born, 
you also need to know that that purpose is also going to be after they have died it is eternal now the question is this as we are raising our children from the moment they are born to the moment they leave the house they leave the nest and they start raising their own children what is the focus are we focusing on the things that are on the earth the gold the silver the bronze the gold the glory and the girls are we focusing on that stuff or we are focusing on the eternal message of purpose i i dare say that if we find ourselves raising children that are not children of purpose we have missed the mark we have missed the reason we have missed the point of living in the beginning in the first place we <laughs> we have become myopic we've become transactional we've become reactionary we've become like the rest of the animals whose agenda in life is to survive the day the lion wants to survive the day that's why it will kill the cubs it will kill other antelopes around it will have to you know win the pride they form the pride they survive for the fittest but i do think that the human being is a heightened species the human being is a manager of the species actually and the human being has got to have purpose in them the purpose is not the same purpose will vary 7 billion times as much as there are 7 billion people on the face of the earth that every person has a unique purpose to fulfill and you can see the differences in the ideas that people have totally different ideas you can see the differences in things that excite them the passion is different from one person to another the calling is different from one person to another the gifts and the talents are different from one person to another but you see our kids come to us and they have these small ideas and so on they are passionate about this and this and we are totally oblivious of those but what we want to see is the report card from school at the end of the term saying that mathematics they got 99% and there, there are some fathers by the way who will beat up their children where is the 1% why didn't you get 100% they are so focused on the things that can be counted but they are they are oblivious of this uncountable things things that cannot be counted things to do with their passion things to do with their calling gifts and talents and even their ideas and we are raising people oblivious of their purpose but we're totally focusing on the things that can be seen the things that can be counted you see the reason for our being i think is the most important thing and the reason for our being is our purpose is our meaning is what matters in our lives and for as long as we are not doing that which which matters in our lives we have missed the point of living why live anyway but the worst the worst that we do is to transfer the same myopic approach in life to the next generation and that's why Lawrence will always as long as Lawrence is a coach unless something is done about this Lawrence will always receive that feedback from people why didn't someone tell me these things earlier so it is our responsibility as parents to start telling these things to our children and how do we do that we start by learning it ourselves I'm going ahead of myself but we said by having purpose in and of ourselves someone say that children will ignore everything you say but they will imitate most of the things that you do very scary thought and purpose is done in action it's not done in words in it's done in deed so in raising purpose driven children our mentality has got to change from the get go the reason for our existence is the most important thing we're not existing on the face of the earth to make it in life whatever that means we're not existing to have sil- gold silver and bronze those are by products of living a life of purpose let us not forget purpose and follow after the other things let us reverse this trend let us not do what maslow is saying that you're supposed to get to life self actualization when you're in the 70s no let us start with purpose and build invert that thing the, the maslow's pyramid invert it start with actualization i mean start with knowing what makes you tick what makes you happy what transforms life what you are called to do what you're gifted at and start building from there don't wait until you're 75 and then you say oh i'm going to build the lawrence namale foundation it's a waste of life all right tomorrow we start talking seriously about how exactly you can do this to make sure that our children are raised with a life of purpose until then bye bye
Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.